What's up guys? So if you have one of these ring alarm lawn signs and you come home to find it broken, as I did, I'm gonna show you how you can fix this for about two bucks and two screws. So what you're gonna get is a 3 8 by 3 8 by 36 inch square wooden dowel. I got this at Home Depot. I think it was like $1.85. You're gonna use this and two screws, that's about it. So what you gotta do first is you need to get these two broken parts out of here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this button here and press this in as you well know you're going to hold that in there and you're going to then pop out this piece here pull that out so what this is going to allow you to do now is you can press this button you can take the 3 8 piece of wood put it in here while you're holding the button in you can then push this your hand at the same time and force this piece out using the wood so I'm gonna hold this in put it up on the table and press down on it so I'm pressing that button in and I'm pressing down on it the piece has now come out easily enough pull it out and there you can see it's snapped throw that away take the wood out and now for this side the only problem is you can't put this through because there's these rivets here so this won't go through all the way. So you'll have to find something thinner. I happen to have this threaded rod. You can use basically anything, same procedure. I'm gonna press the button, press this thing through there, put it up here. Press the button, put it through there, pops it out. Now what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take the, the wooden dowel, take the top half of the sign, Put the wood in and put it in as far as it'll go and it's going to stop when it hits the rivet then take yourself a drill take a 1 16th inch drill bit and while that wood is all the way in as far as it goes just drill a little pilot hole right through the wood using the hole that's already in the metal of the sign that's all. you don't even have to go all the way through Then mark the wood at the end of the metal. There it is. Now this wood is so soft you can cut it with just about any kind of a saw. Okay, so now we have our piece of wood cut with our hole in it. Put that down for a second. And you're gonna use any kind of wood screw anywhere from a quarter inch to three eighths of an inch long. Any longer and it'll bottom out into this. So. Here's a screw that's about a quarter inch. Put it into the hole there. You can see how far it goes into there. So now, take the wood, put the hole in it, take the bottom half of the rod, and line up the hole in the wood to the hole in the metal. Take your screw, move that here, and just screw it together. Now what you're gonna do is take the top half and put it on as far as it'll go, just like that. Now drill the other hole while you have this held together. So let's do this. And as you would have guessed, take another screw and screw that together. All you have to do is put the spike end back on. That's it. Sign's fixed. That's all there is to it. Hope that helps you out. 